Pepe! It's me, Pilgard, the traveling Viking. Today I'm coming to you from Cusco. Today we're gonna go and take a look at the Cusco that they never show you. And we're going to answer one of the questions that you guys ask me the most. How did I learn to speak Spanish so well? In here, there's a hotel today. But in this building, this was where I learned Spanish back in 2016, when I stayed here in Cusco for three months. In this building, in this hotel, there used to be a language school. A language school that had classes for me every afternoon from 2 to 4 p.m. for three months. I would come here, I arrived with absolutely no Spanish other than Me llamo Sebastian, soy de Dinamarca, una cerveza por favor, y donde está el baño. That was all I came here with. I stayed here for three months, and in those and that time, my Spanish improved massively, and since then has only gotten much better. So that is the basic answer to how I learned Spanish. But let's go ahead and answer it more in depth. Check out the view here. And then, in the mornings before class. I would come here to this main avenue, heading up through the valley, from the valley down here, all the way to the center, which is up behind us here. I would come down to this avenue, I would get on a bus and head about 20 minutes or so down into the, into the southern hoods of Cusco, where I would help as a volunteer in a, in a kindergarten. And that's what I think we should go and do now. We should go and check out that area down there. So come along on a trip down memory lane for me to the Cusco that they never show you. All we have to do now is figure out exactly what bus it was I used to take, if I can remember that, and where that kindergarten exactly was. But here's a bus stop. So I will stand here for a while and check out try and recall the memories and then we'll head down to the south. But here comes my bus. I hope it's this one. Going to a place called San Jerónimo. San Jerónimo, no? So we're in. Now it's all about remembering exactly where I was getting off back then. You just kind of, this guy screams out the destination and then you just kind of say bajo bajo, which means I'm getting off when it is. Let's hope I can get it. Remember it. Hay jardín de niños aquí cerca? Aquí arriba? Más arriba. Varios o solo uno? Un solo, un solo. Un solo, okay. So it's not here, because I remember he's saying there is many different. And I remember there were... Hola. He's saying there is only one. And I remember there were a couple of different ones there in that street where I used to be. <laughs> Volunteering. Um, so we'll go back to the main road and we'll continue the hunt. But it's some kind of street like this, up a hill. Check it out, there's just a bunch of kiosks and so on here. The obligatory street dogs that are everywhere here. All right, so whilst I don't seem to remember where this kindergarten is, in the meantime, we can go in here because there's a market here, I see. I don't remember this market either, but yeah, keep in mind, it has been seven years. <laughs> seven years and it seems I was here. And, be, and volunteering in this. Um, in this kindergarten. I think we see something here. Hola. Jugos? Si. A cuanto sale? Cuanto ven? Cinco soles la jarrita. Cinco. Ajá. Un vaso. Jarra. Como es grande? No, es es, es, ah, es ok. Ajá. Sí, sí, sí. ¿De plátano o algo así? ¿Tienes? Plátano con leche. 
¿Plátano con leche? Sí. Siete cuesta eso. Siete. Ajá. Ok, está ya, bien. Ya, toma Un siete. refresco. Ya, refresco. Gracias. Estoy buscando un jardín de niños donde yo hice voluntariado hace siete años. Ah. Donde yo aprendí español aquí en Cusco. Allá. Pero no recuerdo dónde es. Ahí, ¿en, qué, ¿En qué zona habrá sido? Aquí en uno de esos, entre séptimo hasta quinto. Ah. Por el otro lado allá, no, subiendo. O oh, no recuerdo. No recuerdo el nombre del jardín. Este es. ¿Cómo? Se me hace conocido su carita. ¿Mi cara? Sí. <risa> ¿Cómo? ¿De dónde? Es, es que tantos niños, yo trabajo en jardín. ¿En Con jardín? Niños. Con niños, sí, sí. Era un jardín de niños de como 3 a 5 años, este preescolar. ¿no? 3, 4, 5 años. Eso, exacto. Aquí sí. tienen todos sus ingredientes. <risa> zanahoria, ¿se hace jugo de zanahoria igual? Claro. Oh. Está, sí. Saludable. They make carrot juices as well. Hello. So this lady has worked in a... or is working part-time in some kind of... in some kind of um, kindergarten. She's saying she might recognize my face. But obviously, I was a lot younger back then. Let's see what she's doing here. Aquí uh -huh. el plátano. Sí, sí. ¿Cuánto entra? Tres uh, plátanos, dos plátanos. A lo que es pesa. Si voy a poner dos, refresco feo va a salir. ¿Cómo? Feo. Como refresco, ajá. Tiene ¿Cómo? que ser juguito, pues. Ah, se va a hacer, tener feo sabor. Ajá. Si no hay suficiente. Sí. Ay, 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 ay. Ajá. Saying it will be a terrible taste if she doesn't put enough in. Stop. And then she puts it in the blender here. It's pretty simple. You just go ahead, fill your blender with fruit and chuck in some milk or some water and maybe a little bit of sugar or condensed milk. You see this kind of thing here. Ah, it's milk in the leche in, el, in la lata. There we go. Just smash it open with the knife. We don't need can openers here. That's the old way. Beautiful, that's the old simple way. Lindo. ¿Qué es esto? Agua de... Maracuya y canela. Okay. Passion fruit and cinnamon. Para hacer dulzón. Okay, that sounds delicious. Passion fruit and, and cinnamon. That is a solid portion of juice, that. For siete soles. ¿Le sirvo? Sí, por favor. Yeah. Ahí tienes, papá. Okay. Un petecito con tu jarrita. Con mi jarra. Uh -huh. Perfecto. ¿Cómo es tu nombre? Paulina. Paulina. Okay. Uh -huh. Yo, Sebastián. Gracias. Let's sit down and give this juice a go. Banana juice with milk. It's basically like a banana smoothie. You get a little straw here as well. Get yourself a straw. It's basically a banana smoothie. To just give yourself a little bit of refreshment and fulfillment of the stomach before we keep hunting for that kindergarten. Gracias. Gracias. Mañana regreso. Mañana para otro jugo. Claro. Ahora voy a ver si encuentro el jardín. El jardín de los niños. Ah, es hace siete años, no recuerdo. Solo recuerdo que era por aquí entre quinto a séptimo parada. Sí. En ese caso, al lado de un río. Arriba, por este lado. Ah. El otro lado del, no, del, no. del, del, de la avenida. No será la... Una calle así bien inclinada. Ah, San Miguel. San Miguel. Arriba. San Miguel, por allá. Sí, de abajo arriba hay un jardín. San Miguel. Eran como dos al lado, mano. Uno por allá y uno por allá. Ah. Con un cancha de fútbol afuera. Sí, creo que sí, creo que es eso, ¿no? San Miguel. San Miguel. 
Uh huh. So, I've been told to go further down. Now that we've recharged my energy, and I decided to go in there because, you know, maybe these, maybe these guys in the market selling these juices know what I'm talking about. Because I'm clearly lost. But they're saying go down here and head up the street. So who knows? Maybe it is that street that I was that I was already walking up. Because if I don't, if I remember correctly, that said San Miguel just outside. But there's somewhere where it says San Miguel, and that's what we're going to be looking for on a on a little green pillar here next to the road. And then we're going to head up up the hills over here. They're saying there's going to be a football pitch, which was right next to that. Uh, kindergarten as well hopefully we find it now so I've come to the end of this alleyway here but it's clearly not here either I thought it was up this street but let's go up there's a little pathway here we can get a look at least at the view I think I'm gonna have to <laughs> to give up on the on the um now the dogs are barking at me <laughs> I think I'm going to have to give up the altitude on the mission of finding this this uh kindergarten oh my god Check out the view. Hopefully these dogs won't get out of that house. <laughs> but check out this view. Over the city. Or well, some of it. Sort of into a little cove here. And there's some of the slum kind of houses. Whew. Let's keep pushing up. So we've come to some kind of plateau here. As you can see, it isn't a touristy viewpoint, but nevertheless, it is quite the view that we have down there, down this way. Let me tell you the story anyways. I did used to come here. Hola. <laughs> I did used to come here in some part like this, with these types of surroundings. Um, helping in a kindergarten every morning and yeah that was how I then got to practice the Spanish that I learned at the school every afternoon as I told you in the city I arrived with basically nothing just my name is Sebastian can I have a beer please where is the toilet and I am 20 years old which I was at that time and that was it and you can imagine trying to be a kindergarten substitute teacher type thing. That was a tough thing. I'm just looking here. <laughs> Look, there's little piglets here. Chanchos. Look at those. So people obviously use this to breed animals as well. But yeah, as I said, you can imagine that this would be a, a tough thing for someone like me that spoke absolutely nothing of Spanish when I arrived there and these little kids it's going nuts <laughs> there's a dog there that doesn't seem fond of me <laughs> in that house <laughs> I got chased out by those by those dogs up there that were barking at the, in the building. I had to throw some rocks at them and everything. They went absolutely berserk. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's lit literally the worst nightmare of mine. Street dogs. They're so unpredictable. Some of them are nice, chill, and others are going absolutely bonkers. And once one goes crazy, then everybody starts going crazy. And then they start, <laughs> one of them were coming at me and I had to throw some rocks at it. Hola. 
Oh well. As I said, I think we're gonna go and and go back towards the central area of town because there's still one thing on this trip that we need to that we need to cover and that was where I used to live and where I used to have Cusco's best street burger so let's go and see if that's still there that street burger we're back down at the at the main avenue down here let's go back to the central areas not quite the center but somewhere near we'll have to find a paradero seems like there's one over here there's a bus stop so down here right here we have these boots i used to live in this in this neighborhood right there with the family we'll go and take a look at that afterwards but first let's see if they still make these beautiful burgers here ¿Es bueno? Sí. ¿Cuál es el mejor? Depende que, que te guste. Carne, huevo, queso. Sí, es muy Creo bueno. Que. Es el que es, está comiendo ella. ¿Es bueno? Sí. Con papas fritas. Pequeños papas. Ah, oh, ok. Voy a probar esto. Let's see what she's doing here. Con carne. carne. Ajá. Con hamburguesa de carne. Con huevo, queso y tomate y todo. So she's frying the cheese there. Vende mucho? Mucho menos. Más o menos. Yo antes venía siempre acá. Yo estaba aquí en 2016. A veces en las noches siempre venía acá para para comer una hamburguesa. Era muy bueno. Entonces vamos a ver si es, sigue igual como lo recuerdo. She's frying the egg. Gives it a turn around. Jugoso en el medio todavía la yema. Eso es bueno. And some fried cheese. And then over here we've got all the, the vegetables. This is the cheese that, that they're doing their way. And some kind of chicken thing there. And then you can get all the drinks as well. See, I used to come here pretty much every once a week or so in the evenings with a girl from the school that I was going to at that time the language school and a Belgian guy as well the American girl called Karen I kid you not and she was a bit of a Karen as well <laughs> ¿Cómo? Um, tomate y cebolla y pepino so you gotta tell them what types of veggies you want in there we gotta get tomato, onions and, and cucumber look at that genial, gracias so check that out. Got lots of these little chips thingies. Fried potato kind of potato chips. We've got the beef. We've got cheese. We've got egg. We've got onions, tomato, cucumber. And last but not least, a little bit of sausage there as well. Chorizos. Let's put you guys in there. And let's have a go. These little chips are stunning. They're like, yeah, they just give a crunch. I've not had a street burger like these ones ever. And it's still the best one I've ever tried. Beautiful. I'll finish my burger here and then we'll keep exploring some more of my old hood here in Cusco. And this here used to be my football pitch. We used to come here, inside here, and play football once and now, once and now again. Usually once a week or so. Sometimes we play over here basketball as well. This brings back good memories of just chilling here in the little area, in these areas. In the evening, after having gone to school, after having gone to that, kindergarten look at them they're dancing down here <laughs> they're practicing for something some kind of dance 
¡Vamos! They're getting shy. ¿Para qué están practicando? ¿Cómo? Va a haber alguna entrada, algo así. Festival. Ah, ok. Muy bueno. But yeah, I used to live over there in this little apartment block over there. Well, it's basically more like houses, but with small apartments on them. Up here in that area over there, and then we'll come here in the evenings and play basketball, play football with some of my friends and with people just here in the park as well. It was good times, brings back good memories. Just sitting here watching this sometimes we would jump the park as well or jump the fence over there because they close it at the i think at nine o'clock but we would just come here and jump in and play anyways <laughs> man that was good times and there you have it the story of how i learned spanish at least the beginnings of it since then it's It's come along from living in Bolivia and, and so on and so forth uh, for years with practice being here also in Mexico, being here in Latin America. But Cusco was the first place where I ever learned to say anything more than me llamo Sebastian, una cerveza por favor. With that said, I'll see you when I see you.